Hi friends, Prepared Suburbanite here. As you all know, I've uh, picked up kind of a new hobby, uh, photography with my new DSLR. And uh, I got an ad recently from Amazon Prime that said, here's a really good deal on the per gear ball head mount for your tripod, $21.99. Well, after looking at ball head mounts for my tripod and monopod, um, looking at the Manfrotto's and other brand names, they're running anywhere from $75 to $300 for the uh, fluid-filled ball heads that you can use for landscape photography, um, portrait photography, that kind of stuff. So when this ad from Amazon Prime hit my mailbox, I investigated it, looked at it, measured it out, it's going to work on my tripod, so I ordered it. So let's go through a couple of the things that I found that are pretty cool about this ball head mount. So when the unit arrived, obviously took it out of the box and started looking for the instruction manual um, and not to be found. The only thing that was in there was the, uh, uh, the ball head unit in a plastic bag. That was it. So, um, but I picked it up. It's, it's aluminum. It's, it seems to be of uh, uh, aircraft aluminum quality. It doesn't weigh all that much. 11.4 ounces. That's not too awful bad, considering the head that comes with the um, Amazon Basics tripod weighs almost four pounds. It's three pounds, 14 and some ounces. So that's a pretty big weight reduction right there to be carrying around if you're gonna be trekking through the woods doing photography and all that. But some of the things that um, I was concerned about after reading some of the uh, reviews and questions on Amazon as I researched this unit was there's three buttons on here. There's three knobs. One in the front that apparently adjusts the um, up and down kind of a thing. There's one on the base that allows it to swivel back and forth this way. And then there's a third knob that just looking at the uh, unit itself without it being hooked up on the tripod or anything, I couldn't figure out what it did. And that was one of the uh, questions that was uh, posted on the Amazon reviews of this thing um, was, what are all the knobs for? It seems like you'd really only need a couple, but what's the third one for? Well, I finally figured it out. So the big knob that's here in the front, this one right here, right here in the front. This allows, um, it's a friction mount, a friction knob that allows the head to swivel this way so that you can turn this 90 degrees, tighten it back down. Might be good if you could see this, huh? There we go. So that's what that one's for. The Mount on the base allows the camera to turn back and forth. There are um, markings on the base plate here in degrees. So if you're going to be doing maybe a panorama shot where you're going to be uh, across a, a landscape and you want to create a panorama where you go from one side all the way to the other, this gives you um, a little bit of measurability in the in the scale that's built right into the base of it here. But this third knob, I couldn't quite figure out what it was for. And I goofed around with it a couple of different ways and all that. So if you take and loosen the knob this way, the big knob in the front that allows this thing to go this way, it also goes this way. And if you tighten that third knob down, then it doesn't 
doesn't go anywhere. So it acts kind of as a stabilizer or a backup for this big knob in the front to hold things steady. So it really will hold it absolutely steady. So the things that I really liked about it was that it's very compact. It works on my Amazon Basics heavy duty tripod that's a, kind of a real beast all by itself here. It's pretty heavy and because it's lightweight and replaces the, uh, the big head that's on there that's designed for a video camera, um, it really did lighten this thing up quite a bit, makes it a lot more comfortable to carry. The ball heads are great for doing uh, portraits and stills on landscapes, things like that. Uh, works much better than the big heavy video head that uh, uh, comes with the Amazon Basics tripod. $21.99 uh, from Amazon. It was here in uh, two days from Amazon Prime. I think I got a pretty good deal. Finally figured out uh, what all the knobs were for and um, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this little addition to my photography gear. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to have fun and be prepared always. And I'll see you on the next video.